father and a great son. The outpouring of support that we received and Tito's family has seen in the wake of Tito's death has been overwhelming to say the least. I would like to, on the behalf of the family of Travis Westwick, thank everybody here tonight for coming out and showing your support for our dearly departed five feet of motherfucking fury. Hell yeah. Give me a hell yeah for Travis. Yeah. All right. This is a little sad, and the family asked me if I would say a couple words. I'm very honored. I'm very nervous. I'm also way back here in case you're wondering. There's not enough I can tell you about Travis. If you never met him, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. I, I remember when I was a young boy, I had a t-shirt that said, Dynamite comes in small packages. I really wish I could have gotten that t-shirt because I think he epitomized it from top to bottom. He was an excellent racer. He was an internet junkie like most of us, spending hours trash talking and telling other people to sack up, shut up, grab a lane, or go home. And there's a lot more vulgar than that, but in the interest of not getting fired, <laughs> I don't want to go there. At this time, I would like to present to you the card that made the legend, but the legend is incomplete without the man. We're going to bring out Tito B's lime green machine, the fabulous four-eyed freak. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise in a show of respect as we pay our last tribute to our fallen friend, comrade, racer, boyfriend, brother, son, uncle. I could keep going on and on. I think you get the point. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the legend of Travis Beswick, Tito B, Five Feet of Fury. The fabulous four eyed freak, the lion green machine. And he's finally got the Bogarts on it that he so lusted after and talked about constantly. We do our best to try and commemorate a guy who, well, he was, it's hard to describe. It really is. Especially for me because I know Tito the racer a lot better than I know Travis the boy, the man, the sister. Oh, so sister. <laughs> Sorry, the brother. Sean is the sister. Sean is going to kick my ass, too. My bad. <laughs> I don't know exactly what to say. I don't believe in scripted speeches, so I apologize if I botch it. If you attended the wake and or the funeral for Travis in the end of June, you know that his racing crew, Team G-Body, was so tight that they went through every possible inconvenience and heartache to make his dream a reality and to put his car back on the track. His car wasn't running at the beginning of the season and they got it on the track. That's why we're all here. This is the best way we know how to pay a tribute to Travis. We've got a lot of green, all of his buddies. We've got green on the hoods, all paint, I assure you. They really had to pull some strings to get this stuff done, but this is how much it meant to them. You'll notice we have blue balloons. 
here as well. I would like to pay tribute to Jim Navigato as well. We lost Jim in the last week. Jim had been ill for a couple of years and had stayed out of the spotlight by choice. I would as well. But I don't want to go by without at least acknowledging who Jim Navigato was. Some of the newer folks aren't familiar with him. He was instrumental to us back in our early days, starting in 99 when we first did this event. He had a Brown Grand Prix, and ironically enough, he did Battle with the Village. They're never going away, apparently. And he was, he was a very tall, skinny guy, and he was, he was the defied words. You could have actually stacked two Travises on top of each other to make one Jim Navigato from a height point of view anyway. So I would like to at least take a moment and say thank you to Jim Navigato and his friends, family, and fellow racers for supporting our program and for bringing so much entertainment and joy to all of us who had the opportunity to spend time with you. Travis joined our scene in 2004 as a mom, and I, I mean that quite literally. We have a lot of folks in this scene that they do this. They yap, and they yap, and they yap. Travis is one of the few guys who, when he finally brought his car out, he did this. <laughs> and basically gave you the proverbial punch in the face to anybody who doubted him. He made a believer out of me, and he made a believer out of a lot of other people that watched him race over the years. So I'd like everybody to at least hold up their hands in a little tribute to Tito B and Jim Navigato. And guys, open up your hands because we got a present for you. We're going to see how many of these come back. We love you guys and we miss you. I would also like to point out that while the weather has started to look a little threatening, I know damn well that Tito and Jimmy wouldn't let it rain on a day like today. Ain't happening, that's right. So we appreciate it. It was best said, Shortly after we did Tito's memorial, where's Shauna? She coined this phrase. Shauna, can you come here? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Shauna Baswick. This is Tito's other half. His sister is twin. And she went so far as to get Tito right on her back shoulders. She's a very strong young woman. She's been through a lot. Shauna, we love you. Rick and Nancy, we love you. Thank you so much for coming out and being a part of this with us. Shauna, can you come here for one quick second? I want you to recite for everybody the phrase that you told me. Something about clouds and sun and Tito. Do you remember what that was? Lightning, was it? I always say that whenever it lightnings and thunders, it's Travis up there doing burnouts. That's right. Travis doing a burnout. That, I think, was the most appropriate way to put it. Although I do like the other one. And I looked up in the sky the other day and noticed how beautiful it was. And then I realized it's because you're up there. Travis, we love you. Jimmy Navigato, we love you. Ladies and gentlemen, can you please join me and give a warm round of applause for the families and friends and racers and the memories of Travis and Jimmy. I think I'll close now. I appreciate you all tolerating me as long as you have. I'm very nervous. I speak to people on a regular basis, but this is a much different type of thing. I hope I didn't disappoint anybody, and I hope I did them proud. Now, in the words of Tito, Trent, shut the fuck up. We got a race. Fire them cars up and let's do this. And of course, feel free to join in with rounds of applause as we make our way down the track. As a side note, high school, your folks will be up first in line.